Okay, I wanted to just um, talk for a few minutes again about some of the background uh, for the research on my um, studies on sex crimes during the Holocaust and the Bosnian and Rwandan genocides. Uh, first, I did want to mention this is um, one of the books uh, that Lonnie Athens has written that's very helpful. Uh, it's called Violent Criminal Acts and Actors Re Revisited, and it's... Um, published by University of Illinois Press. And um, Lonnie Athens outlines uh, his, his theory and the development and also how to interview and make sense of perpetrator uh, statements. And then if you go to the journals, you'll find his more recent articles uh, that outline uh, his um, advancements in violentization theory and his additions and um, some other uh, fa fascinating material putting it all uh, together. Um, in terms of um, profiling and, and, and looking at some of the science and uh, this is an excellent journal and we have this free of charge in our on, on, through our online library uh, to um, University of Central Florida students with your library ID card number. Uh, and there's a lot of excellent journals. I just put homicide, st homicide studies up here as really um, an example of very, very uh, high quality research. Um, Richard Rhodes, again, amazing work. This is where he uses violentization theory looking at um, the, the Nazis. And uh, this book, Masters of Death, um, by Richard Rhodes, and um, uh, published by Vintage Press. Uh, again, he outlines um, Lonnie Athens' theory and applies it. Uh, a, a classic um, in, in, in the field of, of, of sexual violence is uh, uh, Diana Scully's Understanding Sexual Violence, a Study of Convicted Rapists. Um, and this is an excellent uh, resource as well, published by Harper Collins Academic, and there's many others. Um, the one that I would say um, really uh, and got me to think about integrating also the Holocaust into the two case studies I was using, Bosnia and, 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 and uh, Rwanda, um, was the work by um, Hedgepath and Sedel, uh, and this book, Sexual Violence Against Jewish Women During the Holocaust, Sexual Violence um, Against uh, J Jewish Women During the Holocaust. Uh, this is more recent, uh, 2010, and uh, they edited this book, and it's published by Brandeis University Press. Um, this is an amazing uh, work, and... Um, this is where I obtain most of my material uh, for my uh, case studies within the Holocaust. While I use court documents and transcripts uh, for the Rwanda and Bosnian uh, genocides research. Um, uh, again, we have um, an analysis of themes on how sexual violence is organized in different Genocides, I think uh, several things I just wanted uh, to mention. A lot of the, our profiling, uh, criminal profiling research and materials may not even apply in cases of genocide. Uh, and that has really struck, you know, a um, paradigm crisis for me as far as saying, well, I have all these psychological theories and I have all these criminal profiling theories, this investigative psychology, all this. It works great with individual perpetrators, but then you get this group behavior, and I'm not sure it fits. We need more theory. We need a new theory. We need a new paradigm in, in, in order to try to find out what's going on here. And, and, and finally, I would say if there was a common theme uh, throughout uh, and you're doing anything related to profiling, uh, the uh, reality is that men are the perpetrators 
almost all of the time. I found only a few cases of female perpetrators, and that was so rare, probably the reason it was even published is because it was so rare, you know, female uh, case, case study, but uh, the vast, vast, vast majority of perpetrators are men, and so we have to look at that, and I think also we have to integrate this whole concept of hypermasculinity and begin to put that into our analysis of how group rapes uh, occur. And so I hope that future research also incorporates hyper-masculinity uh, as a th thematic concept and, and, um, and, and we see how that organizes some of uh, the methodologies used in um, committing these crimes. Uh, also, I think it's important to take a close look at child sexual abuse uh, during these genocides. And I also would mention probably one of the most neglected areas, I've only read a few um, articles, and that is men who have been sexually victimized during genocides, and even fewer than those are uh, boys who were sexually victimized during uh, these um, uh, genocides. Um, it would be, in my opinion, unethical and immoral to ignore this. So hopefully we see future research address these issues. Thank you.